uh, that's why it's the potential 616 back again. And uh, I'm going to do uh, three comic book reviews uh, this time before I head off to sleep. And, um, okay, let's start with the positive one. Um, Wolverine, Weapon X, uh, issue 12. Okay, um, Jason Aaron, okay. Um, in general, I think he's been doing good work with uh, Wolverine Weapon X. Um, I think I said in the past I wasn't too crazy about his uh, storyline with Wolverine and Mental Asylum, but apart from that, good job. And this series feels more like um, the Wolverine ongoing. Um, I think Wolverine Origins is suffering a little bit from um, basically dragging out a really monotonous storyline, but we'll see what happens with that. But, um, Let's get back to this issue. Um, this takes place in two time periods, um, one of which being present day, um, where um, basically Wolverine and the current Captain America, uh, Bucky Barnes, um, Wolverine had previously had a drink with um, Steve Rogers, but it's, it's now Bucky Barnes, where they basically um, have to fight some dead deadlocks from the future, basically Terminators who have been sent back in time to kill those superheroes. And um, it's a lot of fun, you know. It's it's kind of a typical kind of sci-fi comic story, you know. Um, the second part. The second time period is in the future, where we see sort of an aging Wolverine with a big beard and no hands, leading this team to try and fight the Deathlocks in the future. Um, both of which it's just fun, kind of straightforward comic book action, um, and it's good. It's enjoyable. Um, it's not groundbreaking. It's it's kind of. I want to say straightforward, but it isn't, not when time travel is involved, but it's just kind of typical comic book fun. Yeah. Um, the thing it suffers from is a big lack of originality. This is basically Terminators, okay? Um, you know, the deadlocks of Terminators kind of going back in time. You know, and we've seen this kind of story before. It's uh, a bit cliche. And we've seen lots of different interpretations of it. This one happens to have Wolverine and Captain America and so you kind of know what you're in for. But it's done well. It's illustrated well. Um, Ron Garney does a great job. Um, he sort of did some stuff on Spider-Man a couple of years ago. Did some, maybe, was it a couple of years? My concept of time has been muddled. Um, but just, yeah, he just really like, solid kind of Oh well, oh, well. He, 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 I mean, great colour there as well. Although that's um, that's uh, that's it. Oh no, that's him. That's him as well. No, he isn't. Well, yeah, no, he is. He is him. Just gonna show how much I know. Um, but yeah, this is good. There's lots of nice little bits in here as well. You can uh, there's like a little nod that you don't see it, but the Punisher was killed in the future at one point. And there's a bit I really like as well where um, Bucky Barnes is in a, a Russian restaurant eating Russian food because, you know, despite being brainwashed by the USSR and maybe do evil things, maybe, you know, he'd have a, I'm sure he does have some bad feelings against the Russians, but he still loves the food and so he needs to have the grub every now and again. So I thought that was a nice little touch. But yeah, this, this, this is a good fun book. You know, um, just a kind of straightforward superhero fare. You know, um, as I say, nothing groundbreaking, but a lot of fun. Well worth getting. Alright. Deadpool and Cable 25. Um, this is kind of. I'm really. Right, this is unnecessary, this book. Okay. Um, it basically goes back to the whole um, side complex storyline and throws Deadpool into the mix and shows that he was actually helping Cable out. It, continuity wise, it does kind of work, but it's not necessary for the overall story. But it is a lot of fun. It's a kind of standard, funny, breaking the 
Fourth Wall, Deadpool book. Um, there's some really funny stuff. I I I, th I found some Deadpool commenting on sort of X X big X Men crossovers and uh, and uh, plot holes in stories and um, you know there's a bit at the end where he's like oh no there's going to be no Cable and uh, Deadpool ongoing series imagine a, what uh, you need to imagine there's no Deadpool comics you know hey I think there should be loads of Deadpool comics there should even be a Deadpool core and basically that's what's happened and you know it's kind of funny even when you think about it it's kind of annoying because there are too many Deadpool books, but it was a giggle. Um, so yeah, this is just entertaining, um, just funny, funny stuff. Nothing too serious. Just if you fancy giggle when you're an X fan, you know, why not? You know, it's, um, it's, it's a well done. It's one of the better Deadpool titles um, out this month. Um, do you want Juzetsky? Yeah. I don't know his name, his name. He does a good job here and he writes it for very well. Also Cable as well. And the artwork. Got no problem with the artwork. It's a cartoonish, good cartoonish fair, nice composition. As I say, nothing nothing amazing, but just just decent. So if you fancy a laugh, it's worth getting. It's, it is one of the better Deadpool books, you know. Right, and to finish on bad note, World War Hawks. Oh god, why did I get this? Um, okay, this is basically an anthology book which centers on various characters in the whole, um, fall of the Hawks, World War Hawks storyline that's going on. Um, the um, A Bomb one's okay. Um, there's one with um, Talbot and where he uh, went on meeting the Winter Soldier in the past, it's, which is okay. There's another one of him where he sort of has the Cosmic Hulk, this robot Hulk thing. Um, it's one of the more enjoyable ones, which is Doc Samson. So we're going to in depth look into sort of his character and what he's going through at the moment. Um, the She-Hulk, the Red She-Hulk one, it's alright, it all carries on a little bit from a backup story in the Hulk, I think it was all incredible. Um, and then there's Deadpool, one more, or Hulk Paul, um, which is just totally unnecessary and, you know, they, they didn't need to throw Deadpool into the storyline, you know, they're, just, they're really taking the piss now. Um, yeah. I, I say you want to say hit and miss, but it wasn't even that hit really. A bit overpriced, and most of these stories are basically, um, I mean, especially the Deadpool one. It's part one of the story, which you need to get another book to continue another storyline, which is loosely connected to um, World War Hulk's but isn't necessary, so this was unnecessary and a waste of money, don't get it. Okay, there we go guys, see you later, bye.